Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are loving this relaxed, natural fall, popping, sexy black girl look, just please keep watching. I'll let you know exactly how I did it. So first I started off with Black Radiance um, Lumptuous Dry Oil Moisturizer on my face. I pre-plugged pre and waxed last night. So this morning I just kind of washed my face with another skincare routine that I'll upload really soon. So I just moisturized that all around my face. After that I went in with the LA Girl Pro, Pe Pro Prep. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, high definition face primer. I really like this primer because under all the makeup, it still like makes your face look and feel really, really smooth and moisturized. Um, I've been using it actually for a while now. And then I went in with the LA Girl um, or LA Colors Conceal It in the green. I was using orange like a lot, but then I started using the green. Shout out to my friend Affy who got me hipped on the green. It just doesn't make me look orange like throughout, you know, the rest of my face when I'm wearing makeup. So I'm actually really liking it a lot. So after with the um, LA Girl Green, I went in with the Black Opal um, Beautiful Bronzer. I've been using this literally probably the last two years. I'm kind of showing an up close and personal kind of clip because I mean, for my face in the winter to get much lighter, still the beautiful bronzer, it really like mixes well um, with my face and compared to like my neck being two different colors. I like it because it's full coverage. That's like the best part about Black Opal. It's fully covered, um, gets all my hirsutism of the facial hair, the darker facial hair is covered as well. So right here, I'm going through with my CoverGirl True Blend um, Matte Made. This is my first time using the D15. I was using the D60, which is a little bit darker. But once again, in the fall, like my face does get lighter. Um, it was my first time using it. <laughs> so when I was shaking, it's kind of come out, coming out really, really like liquidy. So I kind of went through instead of with a sponge brush, I'm using one of these actual brushes to kind of put throughout my whole face. And I like, love, love, love this makeup by CoverGirl because it does have a matte, so it does dry. But I was kind of in a rush and didn't have much time to really let it dry, so I'm just kind of fanning it. Um, This is my first time also, too, using the CoverGirl um, True, True Blend Undercover Concealer, and it's in the color Natural Tan. I've been looking for a really good concealer to go with my um, kind of many different colors. Like I've explained in another video of my face, like with hirsutism and just naturally. I think my face is just like different colors anyways. I really loved it because all day, like it's supposed to last, I think it says 10 to 12 hours. So all day, pretty much my makeup was on fleek. Like the beginning of the clip of this video I probably had the makeup on like two hours. So still, you know, not even going outside, come back in. It just looked really, really nice. So um, I really hate that I didn't blend it in. Once again, I was rushing as much as I wanted to. And then I was going to wear a turtleneck. So that's kind of why I neglected my neck. So excuse my neck, like not even being touched. But if I did put makeup on my neck, I would have used the um, black opal, I think it's their, I forgot what color I would use, but I would use the darker black opal um, around my neck to kind of cover it up. So just kind of excuse that. So right now, actually too, I'm using the black opals um, soft velvet finishing, finishing powder. I've been using this, I think the whole time I've been doing makeup. So I actually haven't found another good powder. Oh, that's a lie. Black Radiance has one that I really like, but I've been using the black opal finishing powder once again i'm sorry i didn't blend it in as well i am not a professional makeup artist y'all i just kind of do what works for me so i once again too using the la girl prep uh, matte spray so that's a nice spray really like gets really wet but then it dries at the same time so today is my first time using the um true complex complexion contour palette by black radiance they're light to medium. And I was going to do the dark one, but I just kind of felt like my face already looks so light. So I might as well, you know, bring more color to it. So 
Um, once again, my first time using it, so I know like I was rushing, so it looks really bad, but off clip, I really did blend in a lot. So it kind of looks better than <laughs> what I'm applying it to. And on the palette, I really do like that they kind of show like a facial clip. So you actually can see, you know, where to put the contour, the sculpt, the highlighter, they actually say, you know, where exactly to put it. So that really helped out a lot for most of us who are not makeup artists when kind of do makeup for work or in a rush. That really does help. Once you take your time, I feel like with anything too, it really just makes a little bit, make, it looks, makes it look more professional, makes it kind of look more natural of everything that's on YouTube nowadays. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I cannot wait to see you guys in another video. Let me know what you guys think. Any other clips you want me to do as far as fall makeup, hirsutism, PCOS, I will be back really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.